Hello everybody, welcome to Sunya Yes and I welcome you to the Environment Prelims Crash Course 2023. This is an introduction video. Here I will tell you about the important deliverables of the course, approach of the course, how this course is going to benefit you and ultimately some of the common questions you might have asked right or you might have in mind with respect to the course i will try to answer that right so here basically we are trying the objective here is we want to maximize the number of questions which are asked from the environment section right as you know that because the forest services exam uskabi prelims is merged so the number of questions the weightage of that is increasing right you can always expect somewhere around 18 to 20 questions from this section okay which is a big number 20 questions you means almost 40 marks there are some questions in which environment some aspects of geography some aspects of climate change and some current affairs are interlinked so this number can even go up to 22 to 25 depending on how is the paper balanced right so both in terms of numbers and in terms of weightage environment forms a very crucial aspect of your preparation right and the nature of the questions varies from easy, medium, moderate, tough, right? And you have seen that the levels of question asked is varying, right? So not one single source is going to be sufficient. Hence, you need some inputs or some kind of a bridge material, which this course tries to provide and help you with, okay? Now, the questions which are asked can be clubbed into various settings. It can be national parks, water bodies, pollution related things, conventions, right? And the basic theories, the things of climate change, etc. So there are multiple heads in which the questions can be classified. But often we have seen that the students are not aware of the basic sections, the basic themes, and they disproportionately spend their time, which basically means some portions which are relatively easy, they spend a lot of time on that. But UPSC might not be asking a lot of questions. Second, because of that, because the matter or the material is not organized, they're not able to comprehensively prepare. Hence, their revision uh, suffers and there is no plan on how to tackle the questions related to environment, right? So if you're not able to tackle those 20 questions properly, then your chances of clearing problems gets very difficult. This is the problem which we want to solve through this course, right? Because we understand the problems you are facing. A lot of you, the content is scattered. You read multiple sources. You have multiple things, but then not uh, nothing of that sort is properly organized. Second, because of this, your preparation is very haphazard. You don't feel very confident about how uh, like good are your chances about the prelims, right? Species, institutions, conventions, conference of parties, and uh, jo orbit. Uh, there are other topics like including climate change, right? the topics related to pollution waste management a lot of these topics seem very difficult to you right and hence you don't prepare them properly and some of you either skip these topics right so this is a pro problem we have acknowledged and to solve this we have tried to create a very well structured thought out course right also one of the problems i'll just firstly outline the problems for example uh, these two things uh, the students don't have an adequate idea of how to link the static and the current affairs. And by means of that, either they focus only on the static or on current affairs, but not exactly uh, linking both of them, right? And the second is they are not very well aware of the trends in previous equations and they're not able to exactly follow what to make of it. Either they do that in too much of detail, going into extremely factual details, but sometimes that is not asked, right? So keeping all these problems in mind, we have the basic objective is to maximize your attempt okay which basically means suppose you get 20 questions here so 16 to 17 questions we'll be trying to target from the course right and here what you see in this course see all your things are at one place this is a lifesaver it's also a time saver so suppose if there is any topic in static Suppose we're talking of wetlands, okay? So wetlands, you know of the recent amendment, which wetland is basic, hai, Ramsar Convention, wise use of wetlands, the terms are related to wetlands. 
and also the current affairs updates they say right now we have 75 wetlands okay out of that tamil nadu as a state leads in the number of wetlands so sari cheeze all those components in one place so that your revision becomes easy fine and then it is both the course is concise and very comprehensive right you don't have to read anything beyond that why because you will get these comprehensive set of lectures which will be accompanied by the document in which the starting and the current affairs uh, portions will be linked properly so both the lectures and your documents will be sufficient enough to get you this very high percentage of accuracy right also because it's co concise and comprehensive your revision becomes easy in my lectures i ask a lot of questions i give you a lot of homework which makes your revision easy now you know for example what to learn in a particular species what to focus on in an institution so your job becomes easy right that is the basic idea of the course to simplify your preparation so that you first of all enjoy environment it does not become very tedious for you and actually you are able to maximize your marks fine i have already reiterated that the current affairs portion is integrated and just before like some of you might ask me how many months of current affairs am i covering so yes i am covering almost 18 months of current affairs and in, in case of species and institutions it is almost 24 months that is whatever updates have happened in the last 2 years i have included that in some cases for example brs convention you might have heard of it basel rotterdam stockholm in this i am going as far as 2019 why because during the covid these 2 years not much updates has happened so either upsc might will be asking the recent things of 2022 or the conference of parties which happened in this year so those things have been included so don't you don't have to run away after some multiple sources etc all of that is in, uh, integrated fine which makes this course your one stop solution right if you have any problem with environment or the other subjects the idea is to make this a one stop solution right so you are very confident when you appear into the exam right and you maximize your chances of clearing prelims the students even from last year through these courses were not able uh, not only able to clear the csc cut off but they were also able to clear the forest cut off hence this uh, courses they act as a boost for your preparation fine then i've already told you these things will be included we are including the static and the current components the all the important previous a question topic wise have been included i will be solving all these questions with you i will be telling what is the knowledge required how to arrive what is the trip tips tricks required all these things you will be given proper comprehensive notes i have already told you very comprehensive and updated notes alongside the video lectures right and of course you if you have already attended the previous batch of mine you know that we do a lot of mind maps image based very revision friendly revision in or in case you are watching this for the very first time we do the things in a lot of detail but it is very revision friendly okay so the basic approach is that i have divided the whole set of lectures into 10 broad themes out of which the important themes include for example basics of environment right i'll also be then covering then moving on to species biodiversity right i'll also be covering like various kinds of ecosystems for example when i cover aquatic ecosystems when i talk about ecotones when i talk about mangroves right when i talk about corals so here in all the important updates will be covered here itself right when when you read suppose corals with me so the regions in which corals are found what are corals right for example distribution of corals then the terms related to corals recent updates now here in you will read says for example bio rock technology now this technology was in news way back in 2020 but upsc asked a question in 2022 so i have included these kind of updates from the last 18 to 24 months so that all these things will be covered in one particular lecture then any recent coral which has been found or which is of environmental significance right this is one of the uh, approach as to how we are doing it then we move forward into acts institutions right now acts i have covered them in very good detail be it wildlife protection act environment protection act different acts related to forests right so that is comprehensively covered then we move to climate change we move to climate change finance climate change governance the recent conference of parties like for example cop 27 what are the recent updates right all these things will be covered then 
different conventions then energy waste management all those parts will also be covered pollution etc and in the end i will have a comprehensive lecture on the terms related to environment this will be a very significant game changer right why because terms like for example green washing etc they don't directly fit into one particular category so for that a lot of terms which appear in the news or have been appearing in the news will be the part of this lecture theek hai ye sari cheeze usme acche tarah se include hongi aapko you don't have to worry about that right and also for example i did tell you for example this course is starting from 17th of feb but uh, you will also be get, getting a lot of current updates of the last 3 4 months as well so not only i am covering the terms from the last almost 18 months or so 18 to 24 months in uh, december itself but the moment the course end the course end somewhere around in february so till april all the current up, up, uh, affairs updates you will be getting so don't worry about that right so whatever institutions whatever species whatever bodies etc etc uh, et you have all will be properly covered right in this particular course right i am also sharing some of the reviews which we got in which the students really appreciated the course which we had conducted which i think should also inspire some confidence which you uh, in you okay the students uh, were able to increase their performance marks and that is what ultimately matters to us that we help you in simplifying your preparation right now again i think i have answered most of the questions here for beginners yes if you want to enroll you can enroll because the course is starting from the 17th of december you have ample amount of time to go through the course right to understand the components of it to revise it multiple times okay now some of you who are wanting to know how the notes etc to be prepared so the moment you join the course there is an introductory lecture in that i have told you how to make notes right how to utilize this course effectively fine so those things you can just see in the introductory lecture this is the orientation lecture why fine. fine i think that should be sufficient uh, to handle all your queries then with respect to current affairs i've already told you what all things have been covered in a lot of detail both in my lectures and in the supplementary content which you will get right previous questions yes they have been covered acche se cover kiya gaya hai inko so how to analyze them solve them what is the learning out of them all of these components have been taken care of right and yes the course start date is 17th december so those of you who want to join the course can do so from the website of sunya or through telegram right and they can just see the handle soon at sunya care if you want to have any specific query you can just reach out to this handle that will be taken care of fine okay and i also want to tell you yes there were a lot of questions in the previous years which can be easily done through the course okay some questions can be directly solved and some can be indirectly solved right like this question on biogeochemical cycles okay questions like for example blue carbon questions like wildlife protection act etc questions related to forest rights act right questions also related to other components uh, which can also be solved through this course traffic be it different kind of uh you know phytoplanktons etc right i all these things are covered and in fact the questions uh, related to 2022 a lot of these questions had already been covered in the course for example uh, the emissions of methane and nitrous oxide by cultivation of rice the question on for example golden mahasir right questions on like for example environment protection act which body it creates all those kinds of question had been properly covered right and not only this i think there was a question also on acid rain so there was a good hit ratio in 2022 for us as well okay so that also helped right so i would just like to summarize this now that yes this is going to be uh, very helpful for your 2023 prelims it will help you maximize your marks retention definitely i'll make the subject very easy for you so that you will be able to then finally have it on your fingertips syllabus will be comprehensively covered right and you will learn the art of solving the environmental questions it will become easy for you you will not be afraid of it anymore right and lastly when you go through the entire course when you read a lot with me revise retain things you will have a lot of confidence and trust me that is the most important asset which you can have before entering the exam hall the mindset that yes you have done the adequate preparation and now you are ready to face the challenge of prelims 2023 right 
So in this, we want to aid you and to aid you, hence this crash course is designed in that manner so that it helps you in the best possible way, right? So for admissions, I've already told you, you can go through the handle at Sumya Care, okay? And there will also be a link in the description box and also in YouTube, just as a comment section, where you can just go through and purchase the course, right? So I'm wishing you all the best. Hope to see you soon in the classes and we'll revise and make environment very enriching for you. Okay, thank you so much.